in this series, I haven't even done the intro yet, but hello guys, it is OBX Dodie here, back with another video, and in today's video we'll be doing a rebuild episode on Aston Villa, trying to get them back to the Premier League, we'll be doing a maximum of two seasons, maybe if we get a Champions League, I might do a third season, but I'll explain the rules in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So in a rebuild episode, you can buy as many players as you want, realistic or unrealistic, a massive push on the transfer window, you've got to get your team to the glory of an FA Cup, League Cup, Premier League, Champions League, basically, if you understand. Um, so yeah. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. So, first as I said, a big push on the transfer window. We are, I believe, Aston Villa need in tap midfield. We are going to go on and sign Ryan Goldie, Scottish. Players for Sporting Lisbon, they've just with 6,010,000 a week, so that's good. Um, I was trying to get Terry here, yeah, but should we really go for him? It's a realistic sign in real life, but you know, I'm not going to go through um, offering these contracts or anything, but you know. Anyway, Newcastle United have accepted a 10 million offer for John Joe Shelby, 40,000 a week, plus Henry Lansbury. Um, I didn't think Lansbury was that good. He's, Shelby, I believe, is better. A uh, 24 centre mid, you know, we've cut his price by four and a half million there. So, we're saying John Joe Shelby, which is going to be a really good centre midfielder in this division, um, if he chooses to stay anyway. But that's all, uh, that's happening, John Joe Shelby. So, as I said, we're going to be semming these games, not going to be playing them. Um, if you haven't seen these series before, make sure you go to uh, Jared HD. He has done these episodes before, so you'll know what you're doing if you go and watch one of his. I'm just saving these games as soon as we get through the transfer window. I'm going to skip straight through to January, and then that'll be it. Um, Jack Grealish there has been sent to Roma. Uh, it was a two and a half million or something. Something like that. Uh, Gardner has went to Leeds for two mil. Don't know, I wouldn't go through all these, but however, we want to sign this uh, centre back called Florentine Pogba. I don't know if he's a brother of Paul Pogba, but I don't know. And uh, we've offered 8.5 million for him. If he does sign that, I think he will be a really, really good. Um, centre back also Nathan Ake we will be bringing him in uh, on a year loan so as you can see we are halfway through the season we played 24 games won 15 drawn 5 and lost 4 we are top of the league with 50 points so we're 3 points ahead of Newcastle Barnsley are bottom Blackburn and then Burton Albion um, in the playoffs Leeds Brighton Sheffield Wednesday and Derby so these can still get in a run with us any team in the Playoffs can get in a run with this, but however, uh, this is going to be a bit tricky. Hold on to the league anyway, because I'm just trying to get on with the um, cop runs, guys, because Chelsea are on the same points as us, but they've only lost one, though, so that's in the Premier League, so we don't have to worry about them just yet, because it looks like first game of the season, first. Uh, season anyway we will be going up to in the FA Cup we haven't even got the round of 16 yet no one has as it looks at the minute so can't really any report on the FA Cup in the League Cup we got knocked out uh, well while in the semi-final I thought we got knocked out in the quarter-finals there I'm just looking at the transfer news there Dortmund are interested in Alexis Sanchez uh, we've got a uh, transfer offer for Ryan Gold uh, we are just gonna reject that straight away because you know, as it looks like he's having a great season for us. No, I want six million. Nah, I'm gonna say ten million for anyone. If he wants Ryan Gold, and uh, no, John Joe Shelby has went to Borussia Mönchengladbach. He had an outstanding start of the season and eighteen and a half million. It looks like they have just seen the bottom right hand corner. We are still top of the league by three points. I don't know how, but. You know, we've got a tournament prize money, is this the League Cup, is this the FA Cup? We don't know yet because I've just seen as much as you guys have at the minute. Um, 
James Ward Prowse accepted his contract to replace John Joe Shelby. He's more expensive than Shelby, but however, he's still good. Okay, so we are in this EFL Cup semi final. It is 1 1 at the minute. Ryan Gold's got a goal. Dyer's got a goal. Sigurdsson should have nicked it at the last minute for Swansea, and we get beat 2 1. Do we have a second leg? I don't know, guys. Swansea We've got Bradford two. in this cup. I don't even care who. Andre Gray has went to Inter Milan. Oh. So at the end of the season, we have finished three. in second place. Sheffield lost Wednesday. eight, drawn two. thirteen, Four. won twenty-five. Two. Just by Newcastle. This is unlucky. United. Relegated of Burton, one. Blackburn, and Barnsley. So two. somehow Fresh I think it was. I can't remember who was in the bottom uh, three. Was it the M3? I don't know, but, but the they have went down uh, this season. Um, in second, so, Villa no goal scorers. Don't think this means anything. Fixtures still not mean anything. Trying to find the Cups. Um, how we did we do in the Cups? Uh, AFL, uh, win the league. We didn't do that. Just finished second. Still got promotion though, however. Um, sixth, tables, the table it's gone here, I think this way, as you can see there, four points behind Piney Castle, somehow we have dropped these points seventh, ridiculously, in the FA Cup, with we eighth, don't even, down, we didn't even get past, City we didn't even get, well yeah we got put out in the round of 16 behind, by Middlesbrough, because they're going to say we didn't even get the round of 16, table, but we did, um, and we got points. beat in the second leg against Swansea and it's 5-2 on aggregate who did win, go on to win the FL Cup so it's sort of better I guess uh, playoff QPR with Nottingham Forest and Brighton vs Derby so I'm one Brighton so guys season 1 has ended on a high we have got promotion sadly it wasn't the league however we still got promoted in the Premier League where Aston Villa truly belong hopefully next season we can finish around about mid table Maybe fight for relegation. I don't know about Aston Villa at the minute. We need to improve that squad though. It's a massive push saying Europa League, Champions League, doesn't really matter. If we do get that, we will do a third season. If we just get to a cup final, it is good enough. You know. Um, so let's get straight into season two. So this is the pre-season uh, friendly slash tournament so final. Uh, we've reached the final as you can tell here. Um, the commentators will be playing KAA Genk in the final. It should be an easy game, but it's been proved in the past before that that's not so much an easy game when they got relegated. And uh, as you can see in the championship last season, some of the games like Burton Albion and Huddersfield, well, they had a good season really, but Redden and all this. Ipswich. They drop points against, and they really shouldn't have because they were easy well, points. So hopefully they don't get beat here. Attacking now. Yes, well done. Cut inside. Cut inside. Well, pass. One, two. Oh, James Ward has got to do better. One could pass that. Oh, but that is a terrible shot. They've got a free kick here. Oh, go blocked by the wall. The what? Shot how did that stare? I don't get it. Ryan Gold. Cormac. Back to Ryan Gold. Bottom corner. Gotta be. Yes, and that is the goal in the final that we were needing by Ryan Gold. Come on. That is fantastic play. Two nil up now. Took the chance nicely. Who is that? I think it's Ward Prowse. Yeah, it is Jason Ward Prowse. There you go. Centre would be brought in to replace John Joe Shelby in January, I think it was. was Might be in his transfer window. It's just gone. What a goal that is. James Ward Prowse. Come on, come on, spin. You can see the right winger there. Can't see his last name. 3 0. Yes, that is us. We have won this. Uh, European Shield now. It's plus three minutes. We're even with two. Well, now. We're secured three nil. Team, it's salt in the wound. This is absolutely this brilliant, guys. Is... So that is it. It is three nil. We have won the European Shield. We are going to go and collect the trophy now. I will leave you with the trophy presentation. I'll see you when this is finished. <laughs>
for it now. First off in the transfer window, I think we should go and get a new life midfield. I've got the wrong thing, Grealish is that good. Right and say Marco Nightingale for 25 million, he's going to be on 85,000. Halfway through the season, I'm going to go and do this press conference where it's in January at the minute. And I've just looked at on Nightingale. He's on minus one goals, minus one yellow cards, and minus one red cards. Is this a glitch? So Jack Grealish had this email from him. He feels he is not needed anymore. Because we have an Arovich, he's not getting his game time. Um, but let's go and see how we are doing in this season at the minute. And for people that would have seen that in the bottom right hand corner, and you see it now, we are 17th, which is not really the best with the squad that we've got. Um, we could be facing relegation, so that's not good. So guys, I forgot to include this transfer, but on the right wing, we're just signing him in January, so don't worry. We have signed Baron Traore from Chelsea, he's 22. I mean, he's really fast, he hasn't got the best the week. I did include this transfer though, Jordan Anavi, or how you say his name, he's went to Inter Milan for 8 million. So, for people that can, uh, are eagle eyed, say that Aston Villa aren't here, we are 20th. End of the season, we have been relegated. Just, relegation wasn't really good enough, as you can see here by the board. They've said we are not happy with our season. Just pause it, read it if you want. But next season, we'll be carrying on as Aston Villa manager. So the series continues. So earlier in the episode, it was confirmed that Jack uh, Grealish wanted to leave the club, and we've got an offer from Fiorentina, six million. Uh, transfer offer unacceptable for Donna Calvin Lewin. We really need a new striker there. Um, Dwight Gill. Striker stepping up, we have signed him for 5 million from Newcastle as we need a new striker. Um, another defender that we're going to be bringing in is Jan Vertonghen from Tottenham. He is like a brick wall at the back, to be honest with you. I really enjoy using him. So, Ryan Gold has been sold to RB Leipzig for 12 million here, and we've brought in. Uh, Renato Sanchez for 25 million from Bayern Munich to hold that centre midfield. <laughs> so halfway through the season, we are in fifth position, and with the signings we've brought in, the people let we go. I'm not surprised that we are fifth. However, I think we should be going further on. Contract offer accepted. Jan's horn or whatever, left back, we need a new left back, and we've got one here. The player sold, the currency's name has been sold to West Ham for 18 million. So Copa Europe, Barcelona won it. The Champions League have Bayer Leverkusen, Inter Milan, Liverpool and Chelsea in the semi-finals. So I'm going to go for Inter Milan and Chelsea in the final now. And in the Europa League, you've got Celta Vigo, Stoke, Dortmund and Monaco. Likely it's going to be Dortmund and maybe Stoke, I don't know. But as you've just seen there, Aston Villa, top of the league, we have won the league. So we're going to go and play the last match. So I am going to play the last game in the season just because Aston Villa will be left in the trophy. And it's confirmed we have won the league because it's like five, four points, whatever, in front, in front of Bournemouth. So even if we win, lose or draw in this game, Aston Villa will be left in the trophy. So I'm going to be showing you guys some clips and then the trophy presentation. Is where they've got a winger waiting. Good turn the away, Ward Prowse. It's cut inside really well. Reflection, Dwight Gale's open and it is 1 0 to Aston Villa already. We don't have to win this game as we are already league champions. However, it's just rubbing something in. I don't know what the Brighton fans are doing there, even celebrating with us. They might have just actually gave up by now. But look at that, James Old Prowse. Stupid defending there by the Brighton defender. And Dwight Gale is obviously. Fast enough to get on that. Horn. Back to Sanchez. Top corner. Yes, it is. 2 0. Just past the half hour mark. Brighton are already down and probably dead. They are staying in the Championship. We are going to the Premier League. And this is just showing the Premier League what we can do to smaller Championship teams. But. Now Brighton you are on the attack. No, we want it back. There we go, Ward Browse. Good pass on now, which that like he's made space. Gale is open. But he kinda get home. Oh Ward Browse, that is a cheeky little flick. To Gale. 
Sanchez. Got to be. Oh, how's he missed? And now Ovich. Thank you very much, Alan. Burton Traore, oh, he's lost it there stupidly. Sanchez lost it as well. What's going on with Aston Villa here? If we play this whole season, we wouldn't be winning the league. And we've just been punished for that. It's been really stupid. We are celebrating the league title far too easily. It doesn't really matter if we do get beat in this game. However, that is a sloppy goal. Yes, Traore. He make up for that goal. The way Gale fought off the defenders. And again. And he's made it 3 1. It is his second goal today. Along with Sanchez, who has got one. He scored the first one. Sanchez got the second one. And Dwight Gill got a third one. It's 3 1 to Aston Villa against Brighton here on the last day of the season. I don't know what is happening. But he has Dwight Gill again for his hat trick. And it is 4 1 in the 90th minute. He just he doesn't care about the result anymore. He wants his hat trick. Going into the Premier League, he'll be going on the Premier League on a high. Join with Arnautovic and all the other players, Ward Pros. I'm so proud of this team. Just win the championship. I mean, it wasn't a massive difference. It was only four or five points. But maybe this is adding another three, so it could be eight if second place lose. So that is us. We are champions. We have been champions from the start of the game, but it doesn't matter. Jan Vertonghen will be lifting the trophy. He's been the captain all through the season. There is the championship trophy. It is real, unlike the Newcastle United presentation. It was a fake trophy, if you didn't know. Aston Villa fans there are absolutely buzzing. Aston Villa players are also buzzing. And buzzing. If you're buzzing as well, make sure you smash the like button. Because we are champions. Incredible celebrations here from Aston Villa. Yeah, Madung is so happy. He has stepped down from Tottenham. I don't know why, but he's came in at the championship with Aston Villa. He's led them from the start. And now he's just celebrating in front of the fans. I love this scene. Look at that. Burton Traore is just killing himself with massive, massive joy because he knows he'll be back in Premier League football. So will Aki, so will the Tongan. Premier League players that we have brought down, such as Dwight Gill, Vertonghen, Ake, Traore, and don't even know others. But hopefully in the transfer window, we still need to improve this squad because it is not really good enough for the Premier League. It is brilliant for the Championship, but we need improvements as well. Maybe another centre mid if Ward Prowse or Sanchez leaves. We don't know. Or maybe another keeper as well. So let's get into season four. in this we have had an offer for James Old Prize and he has went to Borussia Dortmund for 40 million pound. So as you can see a contract offer has been accepted for Kyle Walker. We need a new right back because he was retiring and he's just so pacey it's unreal to get the sign. Another contract offer that has accepted a proper steal I think Chris Smolin will be wearing the Aston Villa shirt next season. It's also a contract offer except I did mention we need a new goalkeeper. Kiko Casilla from Real Madrid is that person.
and Wan. Ipswich Town, one, Middlesbrough, nil. Manchester City, two, Watford, one. Manchester United, three, Birmingham City, one. Milton Keynes Dons, two, Bradford City, nil. Nottingham Forest, one, Oxford United, one. Oldham Athletic, nil, Rochdale,